Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a card in Pages. Pages is the Apple's version of Microsoft Word slash Publisher all kind of mixed into one. It's their word processing and layout um, program. And the icon looks like this, and I'm going to blow my screen up just a little bit so that you can kind of see what it looks like. It looks like a little inkwell. Go ahead and double click on that, and it should be located in your iWork uh, folder in your applications if you can't find it readily. When you first open up Pages, it's going to give you a template chooser. There are a lot of different templates to choose from, and they're categorized nicely on the left-hand side of the page. Today we're going to click on Cards and Invitations, and I'm going to, out of all the cards that I choose, I'm going to scrim over each different type of template and choose, let's choose this Moving Postcard. As you can see, I'm able to get four different types of postcards or four separate postcards from one piece of paper. Now I've already opened this site up, so I, or this template up, so I wanted to show you what I've done already. In order to change things around in the template, right up here on the upper right hand corner, you're going to click on Media and then click on Photos. And that will enable you to access all of your photos in your iPhoto library. If you click on audio, obviously that's going to allow you to access any of your iTunes or iMovie accounts. But today we're going to be working in Pages. Uh, that media browser is going to be there in Pages, in the program of Numbers, in the program of Keynote. So you'll see this as a common way of operating with the iLife Suite and iWork. So today, instead of using the image that they gave me in the template, I'm actually going to just drag and drop it right into that image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click off of that media browser and double click and just change my font around a little bit. Now if you notice, my font is the Santa Fe font, but I'd like to change it to, let's see, let's go with schoolhouse cursive. Okay, And notice the difference. When I'm done with that, I pretty much designed the front part of my card and if I scroll down, notice this is a two-sided card. The template gives me a few different choices here on how to go about and put some filler text in on the text box. But what I've done is I've chosen to start my card off with a little quote that I looked up on quotes.com. And then I just followed the template, home street and whatnot, home telephone, and just kind of changed things up a little bit, left this part. And this is where you're going to fill in all the people that you're going to send this card to, this is this postcard, this is where you're going to fill in their specific addresses. But you know when you're making a card you definitely want to, or an invitation or something of that sort, you definitely want to say a little bit about what you're doing, where it's going to be, what time it's going to be, and then how or who to RSVP to. And so there you go. When you are done, make sure that you save it properly. File save. Okay, and I'm going to put invitation and I'm just going to save that to my desktop today. When you print, and it depends on the type of printer you have, you're definitely going to need to use the two-sided long edge binding or if you know you, you might need to play with that a little bit. Now if it's a long edge binding that means it's going to bind along this side. If it's a short edge binding it's going to bind along this side. And what I found with this is to print up the short edge binding. Okay, I'm going to print, get my card, cut them out, and then send them off. Hopefully that helps you when you're trying to make a card in pages. Should you have any questions, feel free to refer back to this tutorial or contact your instructional technology resource teacher. Thanks.